Today we're going to work on Ford Escape again. We've got a code here, P0708 Transmission Range Sensor. Uh, this one is for a circuit high. This has been um, a code or an issue with a lot of these Ford vehicles that I have found over the years. Anytime you wash the engine bay um, or do anything near the transmission range sensor uh, with liquid, these things always go bad. So I recently degreased this engine. Everything was fine after that. Uh, really heavy washing, but then we did a uh, thermostat on it, and guess what is right below the thermostat? Yep, transmission range sensor. So, um, I don't know if uh, washing the engine or the range, or sorry, the uh, thermostat are what killed this thing, but it's no good. Uh, it's doing all kinds of weird stuff. You'll put it in uh, put it in drive or reverse, and it thinks it's in a different gear. So, what we're going to do is replace this thing. I'm going to see if I can get to it without pulling this thermostat housing. Uh, because that is a little bit of a pain, but if that's what we got to do, we'll do it. So let me get this thing in a tripod and we'll keep going. First thing we're going to need to do is drain all the coolant out, uh, which stinks because I already did that <laughs> to do the thermostat housing uh, in the other video. So we're going to drain all the coolant out again. Um, that way we can take out this pipe. So this little assembly here is what holds the thermostat. We've got to remove all these hose clamps. One, two, three, four, five. And then we can kind of turn this thing and take that whole assembly out. Then we've got really good access to the range sensor. Um, here's the new range sensor. There's the part number for the one I'm using. This is just a cheap one. I think it was about 30 bucks. Um, it looks like this one is slotted for adjustment. We won't know for sure until we um, actually get down to the other one. So looks like right there we have a little marking uh, for drive. But there's a way that you can adjust these things. It's pretty easy um, that we'll get to later on if we have to do that. We've got the thermostat housing removed. I'll post a link in the description on how to remove that because I've already done a video there. Um, now you can see the range sensor and you can definitely see why this thing would go bad uh, when you're changing that housing. It just gets drenched in coolant. So even though I drained um, all of the coolant out from the drain uh, port on the radiator, there was still a bunch of coolant in here. The only way to get it out is to blow it out with compressed air and it's going to shoot out of this hose here. So I would recommend doing that. Wrap a rag around your um, compressor nozzle and blow air into here so it shoots out here. Otherwise you're just going to be constantly dribbling coolant onto the range sensor the whole time you're trying to do this job. So um, it looks like what we've got to do is just pull out the two bolts. One is hidden by the edge of this uh, hose up underneath there and then we've got one there. Uh, then you have two options. You can either align your sensor exactly how this one was when it came out, um, or you can go ahead and put this thing, the vehicle in drive. That way all the marks line up. All right, we're gonna do it just with the vehicle in park. We're just gonna have to line up uh, the new sensor to exactly how the old one looks. So what I'll do is I'll place the sensor on the um, shaft for the transmission, place it down on that, and then I'll turn it until I can bolt it down. So that way it should look exactly the same uh, as this one right here. So we'll use our low profile eight millimeter ratcheting wrench to get this one underneath this hose here. That hose is pretty difficult to remove. Um, the hose clamp is in a really weird spot, but I suppose if you wanted to, you could pull that thing off. Okay, there's our first one. Second one looks like it'll be easier to get to with this little impact. Okay. Now we can take a really good look at how this thing is aligned. If the camera will get over there. Okay, so it looks like it is clocked So uh, the bolt hole is all the way on this leading edge, but we'll just kind of get it close for now <laughs> We have to get a pry bar. Oh look at that <laughs> Top of this thing just came right off no wonder it's got water inside it. <clears throat> yeah, we might have to get a pry bar 
to remove this thing. Okay, let's see what we can do here. There we go. All right, there's our old sensor. Definitely has some water in it. Let's get this new one in place. Okay, looks like that should be drive. So what we can do is Put one bolt in. Let's see if I can get this far side bolt in. It's just off the camera. My tripod is kind of at a weird angle. So I'm gonna get this one bolt in, get it kind of hand tight, and then um, we'll have to plug the sensor in. Then we could put the vehicle in reverse and turn the sensor until the reverse light comes on. Um, at least that's what I've done in the past with other, other sensors. I haven't looked up the spec for adjusting this one, but I'm sure it's pretty similar. Okay, let's get the connector. I'm going to go ahead and blow this thing out. Cover your ears. Okay. All right. Now I'm gonna go in there and move this thing around, put it in reverse and see if we can get the light, reverse light to come on. All right, reverse lights are on right now. Okay. All right, everything is back together. We've got that uh, thermostat housing back in. We've got our coolant topped off. The only thing left to do now is uh, bleed the air out of the coolant system and see if this thing will go into gear. So before, when we had that code, uh, this thing would not go into reverse. Um, I also had multiple indicator lights lit up. So like park, reverse, like drive, and first, I think. Um, but before, it would not, go in, would not go into reverse at all. I'd put the selector there, and um, I could rev the engine up and it just wouldn't go in. All right, e-brake is off. Let's see. Yep, I can already tell it is in gear. We're not just, well, I've got a slope driveway, so put it in drive. Nice. Also, before when I put it in drive, it was like I was uh, starting out in second gear um, and just did not want to move um, up a grade at all. It just had no power. So we'll go back to reverse. Yep, I can feel it. Well, cool. That fixes this thing. Um, if you have any questions about the transmission range sensor on your Ford Escape, put them in the comments. Thanks for watching.